Hello and welcome to a very simple tutorial on how to make your own VPN client. A lot of people charge hundreds of pounds for this and I think it's stupid when you can do it yourself. And it's so simple, it's unbelievable and I think a lot of people understand this. To make your own installer, I will make a video on it if you want me to. It's completely up to you, but currently I'm just going to tell you how to set it up so it connects to your OpenVPN config that you supply it. And obviously you can then change it yourself to add your own authorization and stuff like that. So, we'll start off with this MultVPN website. This is my friend's company. It's really cool. You should check it out if you want to. But we're using it purposely because it centers the last two of my IP. So you can see 80.42. So, that's the range I am in currently. So you open up this, and I'll just show you the form. I haven't designed it at all. It's very simple. It's just a checkbox. You can do a button. You can do what you want. But obviously, do you know it has to be a Boolean type thing? So, you have two buttons if you want. It's up to you. <laughs> So here you go, so now what it'll do is if you tick connected, it will then check that it's been changed and then it will run this VPN, uh, start VPN function, which is a boolean, and it will return true or false based on if it's worked correctly. If it has correctly worked, it will connect you, and if it hasn't or you've disconnected, it will just say disconnected. So you go to the uh, function, uh, it tries, it does a try catch to stop any, you know, errors, shit like that. So it'll start a process, and it'll just start the OpenVPN process, which is located in program files, and then it'll connect to a config, which is next to the bin, which we'll see here. There you go. So there's my bin, and there's my config. So it'll set as run as, because it has to be administrator, or OpenVPN needs to be run as administrator to actually connect. It's just a known fact. That's why most VPNs will not work on school networks, because you have to have admin. Right, now it will set as hidden, so it hides the CMD as it runs it, so it doesn't look sketchy. So it will check if the checkbox one has actually been ticked, and if it has, it will start the process and then return true. Otherwise, it will just end the process tree of OpenVPN, because that's what it does, it opens up OpenVPN with this argument connecting you, and it will just kill it and the process tree, so any other sub uh, processes like OpenVPN daemon, and then, or daemon, sorry, it will return false, and then if it catches an error, it'll just return fault anyway. And that's where it comes connected and disconnected. Show you it working. We'll start it. Obviously, again, it has to be run as administrator. This is why Visual Studio is being run as administrator as we speak. So if we just open up here, open up this, and we just tick. Just hit it. There you go. Connected. Okay. Now we'll wait a second just for it to connect, and then we'll refresh. If it wants to load. Here we go. Still connecting. There you go. Now it's connected. It will start doing a Cloudflare check, that is the website, just checking that I'm not a bot. So here, 89.190, previous to my other range. Now just check that it does disconnect, just to prove it to you. We will uncheck it, it will say disconnected, click OK, and then we will refresh, and it will say just a moment, Cloudflare still verifying that I'm a bot because we've just changed IP addresses. And there you go, 80.42. So that's it. Just forgot to mention that this source code will be in the description. Um, however, what it will be is, it's hard to explain, you have to go to a link and then it'll ask you to subscribe to my channel and like the video. This is not necessarily what I want to be doing, however, it will encourage people who download it to show their support, which I'm happy with. I want people who are subscribed to this channel to use my software and to view my tutorials, but I only want my subscribed people and people who enjoy my content to use my all my content and my my produce, I guess I could call it. Um, so yeah, that's why I've done that. Um, it will come up as a virus most of the time, depending. It's hard to just explain how it works. Sometimes it compiles in a weird way. If you change the version, change any assembly information, if you even add a dot .ico, which I will show you to do in another tutorial further down the line if you do want me to, it will detect as a virus because you are not a you're not a trusted vendor. It's really easy to fix. You can do, uh, sounds a bit sketchy, but f for all the hackers out there, you can FUD it, which means it's, you can buy cryptos that will just do a, a presumably a polymorphism type thing that will just encrypt the source code and stop people from decompiling it. So that's also stopping it from being cracked. And also it's stopping it from being detected as a virus. Obviously these, this stuff does cost quite a lot of money or you can make it yourself. It just depends how, you know, how experienced you are and how intelligent you are when it comes to comes to this stuff. So yeah.
that'll be it. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed. Please check out the rest of my channel. I, I am trying to get watch time up right now so I can monetize my videos to make money from these sort of tutorials, which I'm going out my way doing. I'll do a further series if you guys really want me to. And yeah, that'll be it. Okay, thanks.